thank you for joining us on this episode of You the Mom. And this month's theme is all about pregnancy. And today's episode is a real mom conversation with two amazing mamas. They've been part of the Mommy Mundo community since they were pregnant, always at our events with their kids, sometimes with their hobbies, and always actively sharing their time, their talent, and experiences with us. And while they are my friends and my fellow moms, they are also um, playing very important roles in Philippine culture, I'd say, and the music scene. Actually, before they became mommies, they they were and are very famous and well-loved musicians and singers. And that's who they are and still are, besides being um, amazing mommies. <laughs> so first, I'd like to introduce you my first guest. She is an OPM singer and songwriter. She's the vocalist behind um, a beloved Filipino band, Imago. And she is a plant darling. And now she's a mom of two to two-year-old and beautiful baby girl, Moxie, and four-month-old, Silo. Her daily adventures with her partner, Aaron, can be found at the Chill Crib on IG. And her IG is at Aya De Leon. So let's all welcome Aya De Leon. <laughs> Hi. Happy day to all. Hello, Aya. Uh, yes. Um, just making a correction. Um, a former, former vocalist. But yes, okay. I'm a songwriter. I'm a singer-songwriter. So yes, okay. thank you for Thank you for me. that, Aya. Okay, well, you know, when we have you in our events, all your followers from, I guess maybe they've also grown with you, no? From when you were still <laughs> yes. in your band days and all. That's right. That's they follow us. They still fo- they follow us all in Mommy Mundo. So maybe some of them are also moms and parents na. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> most definitely they are. <laughs> so thank you for being with us here, Aya. Thank you. Okay, and then our second guest uh, is also fondly known as the country's acoustic princess. She's obviously an acoustic singer, songwriter as well, and she is part of the ASAP Sessionistas. In real life, she married um, pediatrician Doc Bistec Rosario and is mom to two little boys, Kobe and Milo, and now a little baby girl, Sari. So let's all welcome Princess Velasco. Hi, mommies and daddies who are listening and watching. Thank you for having me on You The Mom. Yay! Hi, Princess! Thanks for being here. I'm always excited to talk to you both. Princess, let me ask you, is As Obsessionista still ongoing? Are you still Wala active? na! Yeah, I really miss yeah. that. Um, We had the run from 2009 until 2015, I think. Mga ganyan. But I joined them in okay. 2010. Yeah. Oh really? I thought this mm. because I of course because now you really can't tell anymore if it's ongoing or not because you are forever eternally there online, right? Oh yeah. No, but the yeah. the sessionistas as a group, parang we sometimes like have yeah. get togethers lang or a reunion thing or a reunion gig, but the group is not on ASAP anymore. We're not there anymore. Yeah. 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 Cool. So see, I wanted to make sure you're we're updated, right? Mm-hmm. So but still. You're both really active and you have the legacy, I believe, of your songs. And mm. I wanted to first... Oh, wait, nawala na si Moxie. <laughs> yes. She, diba? she disappeared. <laughs> yeah, she wakes up when, when Silo cries. So oh, she's a good cool. ate. <laughs> I love it. Wait, so for our listeners, Moxie was actually lying down beside Aya. Yes. And That's then right. she suddenly woke up and she went off screen. And she's with her baby brother. That's so sweet. Oh, she got hungry, so she got some food. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, so hello again, and I'm so thankful that you said yes to our invitation to be here on You the Mom podcast. We always think about who we want to guest, and of course, the two of you are always top of mind for me, um, because we always share stories, even on chats, diba? Right? So. I wanted to get a catch up also with you guys um, since our topics about pregnancy because as I was saying with you before we came on air, um, I can't believe that Aya, you're a mom of two and that Princess, you're a mom of three <laughs> because <laughs> pre-pandemic, you were... Hi, Moxie! You were, oh, Hello, a mom. you were moms of one and two only, right? Sure. So it's our time to 
catch up and also share stories as we know in Mommy Mundo we like sharing stories because it really uplifts um, one another and also it also makes us feel like we're in the same journey of motherhood together okay so yes. I would like to ask my first question um, which is um, I'd like to compare life so first of all pre-mom so before you became moms and then when you had your firstborns So, Aya, would you like to start? How do you compare life prior to being a mom and then when you had Moxie? Well, it's, for me, it's really, really very different. Um, uh, I think when, when I didn't have kids, uh, of course, you, you know, I get to plan my life, whether, whether it's planned or random. I can, be, I can be spontaneous and I can, you know, I can choose to, to plan out my day or my weeks or, you know, and, and you can also be up, uh, you know, get up and go wherever. So you're always game for, for, for whatever. But, um, you know, before kids also, uh, you, you get to, you get to, you get to say yes to almost everything, every opportunity. Right. There. So, yeah, there's a, Were you active There's in the a, music scene prior to getting pregnant? Um, a bit, yes. Um, yeah. uh, I, it was a, it was a great balance between I know between work and rest. So you know. Yeah. So you were done with the night scenes and all that at the time. Uh, occasionally, not really, okay, yeah, yeah, occasionally, yes, yeah. Uh, Right. Okay, so and then when you got pregnant, how was your pregnancy with Moxie? Ah, uh, okay. So my pregnancy with with Mox was was smooth. Actually, both of them were were smooth. Uh, yeah. were smooth for mine. It's just uh, uh, my recovery with Mox was was more um, was more difficult than my recovery with Silo. Surprisingly. Oh really? Yeah. And I had struggles with breastfeeding, uh, breast milk issues. I had uh, low mm. supply during yeah. uh, Moxie's time. So, you know, my body went into shock. <laughs> like, <laughs> there was no precedent for 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 that kind of yeah. Because uh, I, I I'm a CS mom, so I, yeah. I I gave birth to two of them by a CS. Yeah. Why did you? Why were you CS? Um. I have a small cervix. Cervix. <laughs> I have a small cervix. So, uh, I, I and I think um, I wanted to be. I wanted to be also on the safe side. Mm. I wanted to be. I wanted to trust my doctor at that time because yeah. when I had Moxie, I was forty one. Mm. So I said, you know, I think they don't look forty one. Thanks. I think it would be a smart. Uh, it would be an intelligent move to to just trust my yeah. doctor, so that should True. anything happen in the course of the pregnancy and even the delivery, he knows exactly what to do. Yeah, that I agree with that too. Doctors know best. Yeah, no more second guessing. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Then. How was it with? Oh, we'll ask first Princess how yeah. with her pre, her pre pan uh, pre pandemic pre pregnancy, pre pregnancy life, and then when you got pregnant, and then after. Okay. Um, when we got married, kami ni Vistek, we got married 2013 after nine years of being together. So after we got married, Ooh. super excited ako <laughs> to get pregnant. I couldn't wait. Kasi to get doctor pregnant. ano? Kaya matagal kasi doctor no. He's studying and yes, all. Yes, he was studying. Yeah. And yeah. I just parang I just started my I started my career late kasi so parang I couldn't like get married right away also. Okay. And then but we were so excited actually ako. I since super I cannot wait to be a mom blah 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 ganyan. And and whenever we would try and then wala, I would be sad ganyan. And then, but so before, before the baby, I would do my gigs. Ayan, out of town. Diba, dati, Aya, di ba, uso yung out of yeah. town. Cebu, ganyan. I, yeah. I traveled all over the Philippines. Minsan, malang tulog. Kanta na, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Abroad also. Um, and then I got pregnant. When I was pregnant, I had this illusion na it's gonna be easy. I can still do the thing while I'm pregnant. Um, walang magbabago, ganyan. 
And then all of us, so I was booking gigs pa rin. And then all of a sudden, you have to be on bed rest. Ganyan. Ooh. And then I was like, I was in denial. Sabi ko, no, I cannot. This, I have a commitment. Meron ng mga nakaganyan, naka-down payment na yung iba. Parang, but I had to cancel. I had to be hospitalized for like four days. I was crying, crying, crying. Delicate, I thought I was going to the baby. Pregnancy, si Kobe. Yes. Oo. Uh-huh. My, my, for my both of my boys, ma delicate yung pregnancy. So, I was crying. And then, parang nag-sink in sa akin the reality na, okay, my life is going to change when I yeah. become a mom. And it starts with being pregnant. Kasi nga, sensitive yung pregnancy ko. So, I had to cancel the gigs and I had to be on bed rest for a little bit. And then after that, hindi na muna. Talagang lilo muna with with the with with my job and then when the baby came ako naman kasi medyo may pagka-nerd ako so i like i researched ganya i prepared i know you as that ha <laughs> pwede kang doctor then actually <laughs> oh nga eh kaya lang hindi ka lang medicine late na masyado i can follow the artist mag residency ganyan wag na yan so anyway um So, I was kind of prepared naman. Like, I had CS also though. Kasi, paro kami ni Aya. Malit mm. din ang cervix. And then, um, so I had elective CS. Ganyan. Yeah. And then, after that, ganun din. Mahirap yung recovery. Kasi, you think, yun nga eh, I was, it was funny. Because I was asking all of my CS friends. Kasi nga, nag-research ako. Yeah. Parang, how is it when you give birth by a CS? And then, they, they were just saying, Mm, okay naman. Okay naman. They were like, all okay naman. Ano to sinisikreto nyo, guys? <laughs> After I gave birth, I'm like, ano okay? Why didn't you tell me okay? It's not. Masakit. After. Di ba, Aya? Parang, That's why I agree. Immediately <laughs> after. Immediately okay, after. Moms, so like, it's ito fine. na yun. Hindi okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Di ba? Hmm. Is Real moms is talaga. Yeah, si Juris dumalaw sa akin sa hospital. Like, siguro wala pang 24 hours after. Sabi niya, kumusta ka? Siguro, okay, wala akong nararamdaman. Sabi niya sa akin, hmm. Sabi sa akin, hmm. Gumanan lang siya. Juris was a mom na rin. Yeah, si yes din siya. So yeah. parang, hmm, oh. sige, okay. Gumanan lang siya. Tapos kinabukas oh. next po siya. Sabi ko, yeah. OMG, ang sakit. Oh. When it wears Pinapatay. off. Oo, pinapatayo na ako ng doktor ko. Paano? Yeah. Tapos yeah. tawa siya ng tawa. Sabi niya, ha, ha, ha. Sabi niya, ano, oh. okay ka lang. Okay ka lang. It's true. <laughs> so anyway, to, yeah. all, to all those who are listening, who haven't experienced CS yet, masakit siya. And, pero kaya natin. That's the good news. Oh, yeah. Kaya na naman. And I think it's better if you expect it because some, yeah, agree. somehow yes. you prepare yourself. Diba? And I think that's why si Aya mas nadalian sa pangalawa. Diba? Yeah, because you're, you're, you're ready. Because you're ready. already. The your body knows it. it. So you yeah. condition your yeah. mind na para, yeah. okay, after, when I wake up, it's gonna be fine. Pero yeah. a few hours a few after, hours, yeah. yeah. That's right. I'm gonna get heavy. Yeah. They get the heaviness, di ba? The heaviness on that part. More yes. or less, you are able to anticipate this time. Kasi yes. Kasi first time, no idea at all because I've never had the surgery, di ba? So parang, <laughs> yun nga, but, kaya nga, in this podcast, we're saying, yes, yeah. it's, there's, yeah. a, there's a, a little bit of, ano, di ba, downtime. We will yes. we'll call that re- true downtime. That's real mm-hmm. downtime. But because of technology now and, you know, mm-hmm. developments in, in, um, in medicine, medicine and science, yes. I think it's, it's way better. It's easier. It's, it's easier it's, now. Yes. Yeah. And okay. we have all those, diba? we have those like binders that help us also. Yeah, the support. That's, a, that's, that's the one thing that I cannot forget. Eh? The, when my OB told me or the nurse told me that you have to stand up today. Yes. Like right now. You have to try to stand up. And I'm like, how? How? But I'm feeling like my energy is going to fall out. Yeah. Yeah. But, and, then, um, and then they help you. But, Sorry, I'm normal because I don't have no idea. So they help you stand like inch by yes. inch stand up like that. Uh-uh. It's a really slow process the yes. first time you do it. Because you have to be careful because there's an incision. But you have to do it yeah. because you have to start walking also. Yeah. So that so your that systems your will start. restart, yeah. diba? And everything. Start healing. And you have to be wearing a binder also when you do that. Kasi, you know, and you have to support the incision. Just like any surgery, I guess. Yeah. yeah right. 
di ba sa um, we're both we're both bikini cut right so there's yes. two types of cuts the horizontal mm-hmm. one which they call the bikini cut and then the vertical one which was um the old this the old, old kind style. yeah um, yeah they say the ba they say mm-hmm. so the incision for for bikini cut is is bigger so mm-hmm. uh, they say that um iba medyo mas matagal yung recovery for that. Pero now, pero you know what, Aya, parang mm-hmm. sabi nung mga OB ngayon, parang they do it bikini style na ngayon. All. Kasi All it, na, no? it, it's okay. actually with the grain of the muscle. Of your muscle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. If it's vertical, it's against the grain. Ayun. So Ayun, parang yeah. it's easier the horizontal. Pero I think mm-hmm. what you're yeah. saying is pag bikini cut kasi mas mababa. Mababa. Kaya mas oh. mahirap. Oo. That's right. Pero the horizontal one, if it's a little bit higher, it's easier. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I would think so because if it's against the green, the it's layers of wounding oh. the butt that has to yes. heal, I think. Right. Mm-hmm. So, okay. And also at least pwede pa magka flat tummy, I guess, in the future. <laughs> it's not against <laughs> the green. Pwede pa, pero mahirap. Mahirap <laughs> eh. Pero, pero there are some moms, ha, na gano'n. Oh, okay. In you our know? community, in our community, parang Totoo, masipag no? kasi talaga mag, ano, masipag mag core exercise. Oo, oh, core. <laughs> Yeah. Diba? Talaga, that's the challenge. But it's okay, even if not, we are yeah. beautiful as we are. Yes, our we pouch. Born, we <laughs> actually bore other human beings. Human beings. Yeah. And our pouches are beautiful. Yes, truly. My kids truly. love it. They're saying, it's jelly, it's jelly, it's jiggly wiggly. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I, I do agree about um, being prepared, being informed. Diba, mm-hmm. it's the same breastfeeding, right? That's why we have to tell moms now, you know, it's not like those pictures of moms breastfeeding that you think it's beautiful and natural and automatic. Yeah. Diba? Like, yeah. Aya had problems in, with true. her breastfeeding mm-hmm. also. If you're prepared psychologically that, oh, the first suck will be not very comfortable and that, you know, in the start, konti pa lang your milk and stuff like that, mm-hmm. then you'll be able to be mentally and also ready for everything. Yeah. Well, at mm-hmm. least a little more, di ba? Yes. Okay, That's so, true. Aya, how was it with with your newborn? And then how did you feel that life changed for you after you had Mox? Um, well, priorities changed. I think um, I, there were so many changes uh, in me. Uh, spiritually, men- mentally, emotionally. I think um, I had gained... Uh, the most beautiful blessing that I ever received was uh, a wholeness. I think um, there were some things that I didn't see when I was when I was still single, when I was you know navigating life through the filters of of a person that had no that had no uh, that that didn't have that kind of responsibility towards another human being. So I guess there's a, there's a big gap. I think it, it filled a gap in my life where I, it filled a necessary gap in my life where um, I had space for other people, you know, other people's growth and other people's welfare. So I think um, because I had, child, I had this childhood trauma that I wasn't aware of, I started, you know, I had made the wrong decisions several wrong decisions in my life before yeah. you know reacted quite you know not really in the best of you know in the best of form but um yeah so i found i found healing through parenting i guess oh that's so beautiful parang ano no when we're growing up we don't realize kasi syempre growing up sometimes we're also all about ourselves and then you of course you love others but then you don't yeah. realize how our hearts expand with our kids. And then, but even if madami na yung kids natin, it doesn't, it's not like you're dividing your heart among three, for example. It like, it multiplies, no? That's right. So, Princess, how it is, is it with you multiplied by three yes. now? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, actually, um, with the first baby, when, when, when Kobe came, um, I, I loved it. I loved being a mom. Despite the challenges, yun nga, sabi nila, breastfeeding should be easy. It's not, diba? So at first, it wasn't. But after after a while, you get the hang of it and it becomes easier. I really loved being Kobe's mom when I was just Kobe's mom. 
And then I became pregnant and I would ask my friend, my best friend who had two kids, ko po paano yun? Parang, how can you like have space for another person? Madadivide ba yung love ko kay Kobe and then the new one? Sabi niya, hindi. May intindihan mo yun pag nandiyan na. Mag-expand lang yung heart mo to make room for the new one. And then with the third one, again, mag-expand ulit yung heart mo to, to yeah. make room for the third one. And, and si Bistek would tease me. He would tell me na parang, oh, mas gusto mo si Kento, mas favorite mo. And you know what? Honestly, I can honestly yeah. tell you, I don't love any of them more than the others. Parang I love them equally, yeah. all of them, despite all of their flaws. Or diba, sometimes, yeah. ma- mapipikon ka, ganyan. True. I love them equally. And it's just mm-hmm. amazing that, and I'm sure all the moms who are listening know that. And I'm sure you know that, Janice. And I'm sure you know that, yeah. Maya. It's amazing. Yeah, I agree. Like I'm, I'm the same. Like people say, "Sugar favorite, masig ganyan favorite." Because daw mas nakikita daw sa IG si ganyan. The others daw hindi. Na. So I said, "I'm like that." Honestly, de ba? It's like even if nga they're different, like some are more similar to yourself. Sometimes, because the the more similar the child is to yourself, people think you love them more, de ba? Because there's more like um natural. There's a natural connection. Yes. It's really all like the same love yeah. as a mom. True. true. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. True. Same. True. true. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful, no? And parang, yeah. I you have know, the we words to purpose. describe it, really. Yeah. How, yeah. how you can accommodate that kind of, uh, yeah. that kind of love for both mm-hmm. of them. Yeah. Imagine our lolas, they had six, eight, yeah. ten. <laughs> My right? mother had seven. I'm number six. <laughs> Oh, wow. what diba? you guys? I am number one. Uh, I'm number three of out of four. Yeah. Ah, uh, you're the only child. No, I uh, I'm the first one. Uh, and three. and then how many more? A uh, three. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah, but thank you for sharing that. I really, if you're not a mom yet, you'll know eventually. But mm-hmm. but yeah, it's like motherhood gave us all purpose. And then yeah, that's true. true, true. And true. helps us. Do you do you um also experience yung parang you're you are kind of forced to improve yourself because you want to be a better example to your children. And number one ako jan. That's definitely yeah. that's really yeah. definitely my my journey ever since I had. It. This is the biggest ano talaga fork and. I know plot twist of my. It's life. a transformation. Yes, it is. <laughs> so I am. Uh, it's uh, go. It's, it's, go for me, it's so hard. But I'm, okay, I, I I'm just gonna look back to when um uh, the the mommy mundo planner, uh yeah. for 2020. See si RJ pa before she asked me, oh, baka you can yes. give me a quote ganyan. So okay, it was so hard to think. And then my quote was when I was younger. I always had a hard time answering the question, "Who am I?" And now that I'm a mom, in my heart, I already know the answer. I was meant to be a mother. I was meant to be a mother. So it's nice, de ba? That was 2019. So I had two kids, de ba? Pero last night, I was just talking about this with my husband, and I, and I asked, and I tell him, "Sabi ko, han, sabi ko, ito yung quote ko sa mami mundo dati." Because at that time, at that time in my life, that's how I felt. Yes. I was at peace with being a mom, but now I am yeah. doubting myself every day. Parang I'm not doing. Parang I'm not, I'm not doing what I think I should be doing. Are you parang not doing I'm enough make, or whatever? I'm not doing enough. I'm sometimes I make I make bad mistakes that I regret right after, especially with raising. Uh, <laughs> A five-year-old, it's so hard. Because with with the two-year-old, it was. And your easy boys are so like, strong-willed. Your your yes. boys are strong-willed as kids. Well, like Aya's daughter is also strong. It it's really hard. Parang for me, parang yeah. at a certain time in your life, it might be easy, and you think, okay, I got this. I'm like, okay, I'm super mom. I'm I'm good at this. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, parang what? How do I do this? <laughs> And I was thinking yesterday. Yesterday, lang tawa. I was thinking, okay, when they become a tween, when he becomes eight, when he becomes ten year old, 
uh, a 10 year old when my daughter becomes a teenager i'm going to learn each time and it's going to be different <laughs> and i'm like yes it never ends never ends yes i was just telling a friend in yesterday you think my graduation from the learnings but no <laughs> and we are moms forever in about different stages that's true well. so, that's, right. that's, that's where i am now i'm like really struggling right now as a mom of three the baby is easy for me oh my god i love taking care of babies when they start having opinions it's harder yes and i think because kobe is so much like me so it's hard to argue with yourself it's karma in a way (laughs) i guess yeah that's true that's what you know i think that's where we have to also learn to be gentle with ourselves because that's right that's why your mommy mundo um to be honest like at a certain point people were saying we make mothering too serious. You know, like, mm-hmm. we want to have this standard of motherhood and we have this epitome of a perfect mom and really, but ultimately, the whole message is we're all doing our best. We're yeah. really all just doing our best. And the community is there because, you know, we're all trying our best and we all do have bad days and good days. We have days when mm-hmm. everything is perfect. <laughs> Mm-hmm. everything flows smoothly and then there's the rest of the days where we could have done better no? Yeah. yes that's true and then we just have that's to true. be gentle I'm actually having one moment now the internet is messing <laughs> up and then my son my son is my yes. son is hungry and then yes. my toddler's very very awake as you can see the umbrella she's right telling her stories here. again yes yeah. right? mm-hmm. so um, but then you know I if, if there's one thing I learned, it's like I'm just going to I'm just going to enjoy this moment, even if I'm a little, Ooh. you know, I'm a little stressed or you know yeah. under pressure. But then this is this is my life, and you know, um, yeah. I'm just saying, I, I just keep on saying, you know, it's not going to be like this for forever. You know, they say that days are days are slow, mm-hmm. but the years are fast. Yes, that is true. Yeah, just look at my boys and my daughter. I know they're like grown people. <laughs> my own now. Kobe is twenty four, in a blink yeah. of an eye. So that's true. That's true. Yeah. So you're gonna miss the chattering and the yeah and the puyat. Well, you won't miss the puyat. <laughs> no, no, you won't I miss, won't the, miss puyat, the puyat. But... <laughs> that yeah, is so... true. Means when I think about like when my kid, my boys are clingy, like super clingy. Yeah. Tapos pinagagawan ako ganon. Yeah. And then I would, minsan kasi nakakairita, like when you're, diba, yeah. when you do something, ganyan. Yes, but, and then yes. I just inhale and exhale and I say, okay, in a few years, they're not gonna be wanting yeah. to hug me anymore yeah. or let yeah. let me hug them anymore. So sige, enjoy ko na lang tong little Ooh. hands nila on my body and yeah. my jiggly, wiggly tummy. Sige, I'll let you touch my tummy if you want. Kasi yeah. sandali lang talaga. Totoo. Totoo yeah. Yeah. So, so how has it been I'd, I'd like to touch up briefly on how it changed from two to three and then from one to two during the pandemic. Oh my gosh, hello. <laughs> Hi, hello. How has it been like during growing, uh, having this growth in your family in numbers during the pandemic? Has it been different? Like you think it would have been different if there's no pandemic or... Or any experience you want to share about that? That your babies have not been out. That's what they say, diba? Yung, there have been memes about that na the babies born during the pandemic have not been out. Then they think wearing masks is normal. And then, you know, it's like interesting perspective. That's right. Yeah. Well, um, it has its own blessings. It has its own yeah. in everything. It has its own pros and cons, like um, being able to uh, to just be with your children, even your even your spouse yeah. or your partner, and and be part of the parenting, you know, the shared parenting uh, yeah. groove, and you know if you accept it as part of stretching, part of the stretching that you need to do. And and it it will make you an, a better person, a better you know, a better citizen. Mm-hmm. You know, yes. Yeah. Then yeah. 
I'm not saying it's perfect. Mm-hmm. It's it's really hard. It's really hard because for you know some there are some days where you uh, there's some days where I I do shed a tear with the fact that my daughter just really wants to go out and walk. She loves taking long walks. She loves um because we live in a we live in a condominium, but there's a there's a really nice space to big big space to walk uh to take long walks um she can't swim she can't you know she can't do those things and you know it's this stage when she she has to to exert you know she has to expend all that energy that all the mm, toddler yeah. energy mm-hmm. so but then i keep saying you know i think this is a season wherein i i have to say i have to say thank you to 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 the things that you know you know to the blessings that come and the friends that stay uh, the family that supports the family that's safe you know that we're safe and yeah. that we're well true yeah, so yeah how about you princess true. um from i know from sa pandemic na lang from dd3 yeah. okay so With Kobe and Milo, when the pandemic started, and I didn't know I was pregnant yet, um, it was just like the same to them. You know, the kids they they don't they're not really aware of what's happening, of how serious this is, and how different our lives have become. And they're just having fun at home, playing with each yeah. other, away, but but like the same. And It's not really hard to keep them entertained at that age. So I'm lucky I have two two year old and five year old at the time. But when I got pregnant, yon ako ako actually it was hard for me to accept the fact that I'm gonna have a baby in a pandemic. Because at the time it was just the beginning, so you didn't really yeah. see the immediate future, like two months ahead or a year ahead. Parang it, it's so far and you have no idea what's gonna happen, if it's gonna go back to normal or if it's gonna be like this, like where we are right yeah. now, right? Yeah. So I was scared, but um, surprisingly, the pregnancy was very easy this time around. And it's a blessing because I didn't want to go to the hospital and I didn't, you know, have to, didn't want to like undergo like tests a necessary test like exposing me to yeah. to covid diba so yeah yes. and then um what i would always like tell my husband was parang how is it going to be different we have to plan like for another child to diba para mag school ganyan so another mouth to feed do we need to get another yaya so like, oh, it doesn't make sense to have another yaya kasi we're just at home So, wala naman change dun sa ganong part. Buti na lang. Kasi, I'm just here at home all the time. So, dati kasi, kailangan may, may mapag-iwanan in case like I need yeah. to go out for work. Pero now, since, wala. It's same pa rin. So, si Ate Leti pa rin yan. So, it's the same. Si Bistig kasi, um, unlike Aya, dahil nga, he's a doctor, he would still go out every day for work. And that's also one of the legit fears I have because he's going out every day. It's one of the things I pray for <laughs> every night that we yes. don't get exposed pa rin. He doesn't get exposed. He doesn't get sick because, because he's a dad of three. So I always <laughs> remind him, I go, to be careful. You're a father of three and we have a little baby. To be careful. <laughs> so, yon And legit fears talaga na, na I have to I pray for every night and trust him diba? with with our lives because um, yeah. it's a real danger to, to our lives. And um, what else? The baby now, uh, very easy to take care of and I'm more super duper duper hands-on because I'm home all the time. Yes. And um, actually, feeling ko yung pinaka-affected sa pandemic is Milo. Because he, mm. when, when, when the pandemic started, when the ECQ started, he was supposed to start, you know, play school and getting exposed to other kids and interacting with other kids his age, going to children's parties. I miss that so oh, much. Oh, yes. Dati, parang, I was dreading it. Parang the kids love going. So yeah. I would bring them. But 
it just makes me so tired after. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you know. Like 14 na naman. <laughs> 14 na, oh my God, nakakapagod. Pero diba the joy you see in them when they yeah. go to parties, yeah. like, diba the magicians and everything and the, the games. Game. <laughs> parang now, wala na yun. So parang, I, I just yeah. feel that, you know, Milo is missing out. But he doesn't know what he's missing because he doesn't remember. Yeah. yeah. So it's fine. And Kobe, um, even if he misses those things, like he misses going to the beach, going to the playgrounds, ganyan, and playing outside, um, he's handling it very well. So I think it's easy yeah. at this age. I can, I think, I think it's harder for tweens and teenagers yeah. like being cooped up at home, diba? So true, true. And so that's the only difference. And one thing, another positive that I see is that they don't get sick at all. That they always get sick. Mm-hmm. Like, kasi, diba, when you go out. Sometimes, diba, they put things in yes, their mouth. Yes. And then, palaging may infection, palaging ina-asthma. Ngayon, talaga, wala. Oh my God. As in, nothing. <laughs> nothing. For more than one year now, they haven't been sick at all. And I'm so yeah. thankful for that. Yeah. And, and okay, cool. what That's else? At night. Yeah. At, at night, it's just pray. Yeah. I'm just really thankful na parang kahit na nag-away kami ni Kobe today or ganyan, parang I'm just thankful that we're all healthy and we're all safe and we're all alive sleeping tonight together. True. True. Yeah. Every day, I'm thankful for that. True. Every night. Yeah. yeah. The simple things, no? We have to yeah. be thankful for now. That's right. Yes. Hey, thanks for sharing that. That's really good. I wanted to ask you uh, for the moms listening also, like how did you prepare your home for the new baby? Or what did anything, anything, how did oh, anything invested in? Because it's your, not your first baby na. Did you have to shop for stuff? Or did you, did you have stuff just that you just used from your first baby? Or what are your like products you think really helped you? Um, both pregnant and while for a um, newborn. I'll go ahead. Can I can yeah. I go ahead? I, yeah. Okay. Um, for me, since third baby, na actually I wasn't planning on having a third baby. It's a surprise blessing, <laughs> baby. Yeah. And so I sold most right. most of my stuff. I sold. So you were like, stu- you were supposed to stop at two. Really? Yeah. Stop at two. That 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 was our plan. And the OB said also, tama na yung two, ganyan. Yeah. So I was starting to sell my stuff. Kasi diba at the time, no, at the start of the ECQ, parang everyone was like, diba, decluttering, yeah. ganyan. Yes, so yes. I was yeah. starting na. So yung clothes ni Lamailo, the baby clothes, I already like, gave them away. I was packing my my breast pump. I was packing <laughs> my um carriers. Buti na lang, hindi ko pa na, na po-post, ganyan. <laughs> So now I didn't really buy anything um for for Sari. Although I bought uh a co-sleeper because mm-hmm. that was the thing I was thinking of the sleep situation. How are we gonna sleep in one bed, all of us? But the baby's gonna get squished, ganyan, because the toddlers ganyan. But you know what? I wasn't able to use it anyway because Sari <laughs> wants to sleep beside me. Yeah. Yon. So what I did. Um, nagpagawa na lang ako ng underbed na pull yeah. out. Para extension for, of your bed. Yeah, so so the, the the two kuyas, they have their kuya beds beside our bed and then the baby would be in the middle. But of course, I'm sure you know this Jen, it's parang the yeah. two the two boys would go up. Yeah, they go up. Ayan. So I just have to be parang ano, hindi ako super duper tulog just to yeah. protect the baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, baby. I know what you mean. Yun. So, buti na lang, like, si Bistek is not, hindi siya malikot, matulog, ganyan. Kasi you can't do that. Hindi talaga pwede kung yung asawa yeah. malikot, matulog, madadaganan talaga the baby. Yeah. Yun. So, in terms of products, no, I just reused everything I have. But of course, the essentials, yeah. you have to buy the diapers, you have to buy, yeah. I, I had to buy, although I had to buy pala new clothes because it's a girl. Yeah, a girl. Yeah. Yeah. So, clothes. <laughs> a little lang though because a lot of my friends, yeah. they had me downs. And that's yeah, the thing man. about the mom community in the Philippines. You just really, yeah. you're very generous. They just give you stuff that they don't use anymore that they think will be useful for you. So, you yeah. Know. Don't that's be afraid nice. to ask for help from that's your true. Own, fellow mom friends. That's true. How about you, Aya? Same. Same. So, ang galing. Did uh, you plan for your second? Did you no. plan? No. Surprise also. <laughs> oh, yes. I remember. I would know. I know that. I know that answer. To it. <laughs> the time when Princess posted about, you know, she she shared that she was having a baby. The, the announcement. 
that was the time when I found out I was pregnant. So, But that was all, I, almost the nun yun, di ba? Oh, uh, ah. Few weeks first, na. And na nang so, first probably, trimester halos. Wait ha, parang, basta when, when I saw it, I remembered sending you a message. Yeah. Oh, I felt as sort of like, parang, oh, I'm not alone. That was my first comfort. During yeah. the, uh, well, Moxie and Silo really are, are, are kind of close to each other in terms of age gap, di ba? So, I still have everything I was about to declutter. At the mm-hmm. same time, we had, uh, because of daddy, he is a, you know, influencing minimalist sa amin eh. So, all our baby clothes are are either white or yeah. gray or, so, na, you know, there were just Neutral. a few that, Oh, neutral lang. And then uh, we had friends who, who gave, who gave, yes, thank you. Yeah. Give, <laughs> eat it. We give clothes and then, ano kasi to anak ko eh. Kung, kung ano kinain niya, dapat kainin ko. Anyway. Um, so, uh, yun, hand-me-downs uh, that are really, really, parang unused pa nga eh. So, yeah. Eh, kasi pag ganda, baby naman, di ba, it's like <laughs> a few know, years. Bilis. Oh, It'll grow fast. Super, And then um, we had um, ano pa ba? Iyon nga pareho kay kay ano kay kay says uh, Silo sleeps with us. Hindi talaga nagko sleeper to ayo talaga niya because um, his th- yeah, he has major throw up issues, major mm. trajectory. So the doctor said, let's uh, observe him. He might have GERD. GERD. Ah, yes. So, medyo ano, medyo challenging um, the past few the past few weeks. Wala, wala rin akong tulog kasi I have to make sure that Silo is elevated a bit. Yeah. Um, side lying kami tapos elevated para hindi he won't choke on his He won't show up. He won't oh. choke. Oh, yeah, he won't choke. Yeah. He won't choke. Yeah, yeah, oh, choke. yeah. yeah, yeah he won't choke. So, imagine he's never slept on his back. So, mm. oh no. Which is, parang ako, oh my gosh, yung safety niya. Sobrang so, you're talaga, holding him. You can holding hold him talaga. Making upright. sure that his, his breathing is, ano, he breathes well. Walang naiipit sa kanya. Kasi, syempre, mm-hmm. di ba, you know, alam mo naman yung SIDS, di ba? And, I, yeah, you know, how would you know, right? So, true. talagang, talagang, ano, mamayat maya talaga, ano, gigising ka to check. Mm-mm. So that's my life now. So my brain is kind of really, really slow, you know. So I accept that this is my season now. That you know, yeah, I can, right. I can. I just have to take it slow. If I have to think, and I have to write things down, so I, yeah. I can remember, and then I have to write things down so I can answer properly. Yeah. That's good. At least you recognize it, right? Yeah. It's important. I love I love the acceptance. It's that's part of also the body seeing at the magic words now is it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it, it, is, is, is. What it is. That's our motto <laughs> these days. Because as moms are kind of controlled, right? Diba? Diba? So it's a godfather, ba yun? I think it's it from is what it is. I, I'm sure it's from the It's from the godfather, but It is what it is. Yeah. Parang yung, basta, parang, I know that. Siya, parang, it's, an, it's a gangster thing eh. Yeah. It <laughs> But it's so It'll applicable to like real Then life right si now. Then pala si Godfather. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to, I think we're, I, as, uh, last few questions, I think two more questions. One question I wanted to ask you is, so being our singers and songwriters, what are your favorite lullabies or songs to sing to your children? Rock Do you have any? Bigla ka rock pala. <laughs> Na stomp lang bear. ako. What's yours, Aya? Rock by your bear. We, rock we by your bear. We're the Wiggles fans. So. Oh, oh yeah, so Milo my loves. Uh, mm. Milo loves the Wiggles also. Yeah. Say so, ano? Yeah, it's it's. Really But ako, I, before I used to sing ano, I I used to sing a dream is a wish your heart makes. I oh, love that's that. nice also. Yeah. I used to sing that in utero pa sila, like when I'm pregnant. Ayan. Pero yung, Oh, that's nice. Siguro kasi, I'm sure si Aya din, na parang, sanay kasi sila na singer tayo, so parang they're Uh-oh. not like really asking for it. Parang, okay, yung makata Or maybe you don't mami. even think of it. Para you just yeah. listen to song and it's so natural. Yes. yes like I remember yes. my 
the Gary's yaya, she grew up, we call her Lola Yaya, also took care of Kobe, my Kobe. Mm. Tapos, habang pinapatulog niya, she's dancing. Then she's singing, Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go. No, oh. wow. Wake me up. Sabi ko, okay ha. Modern. Hindi, <laughs> saka wake me up. Pero pinapatulog niya. Oo, pero pinapatulog niya. Oh. Galing. For some reason. It's like reverse psychology. I know. That's true. But you know, the babies, they really like just anyone singing or like music. They fall asleep. Uh-huh. Yeah. True, true. That's true. Uh-huh. Diba so, like, so, yeah. to the moms here, even if you're not a singer, sing to your kids. Sing. Yes. Sing. Ba, sing. Yes, and oh, I also want to share yung how music also can just lift you up. Like for example, if you're yes. feeling, you know, if you're feeling it like you're in a slump or you're feeling like a failure today or you're feeling lazy mm-hmm. or you want to connect with your child, kunare there's like a rough time, there are rough days, yeah. you just turn, turn on the music and dance, wala na. That's so, true. Yeah. And you'll always That's automatically true. have happy hormones and and you're Correct. both laughing. Na, diba? Wake me up before you go-go. Is... <laughs> perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> if you don't know the song, you are not in our generation, you can look in Spotify for the song. That's it's right. fun. Yeah. It's nice. The original one, search the one by Wham. By Wham, George yeah. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so one last question. Um, of course, we try to also share with our moms here um, advice. So what advice would you like to give expecting parents as they venture into this new um, journey of family life, um, of having children? Oh, and then there's one more question about um, how dads can help how dads can lean into parenting. Like both of you have very active hobbies as well. So so there are those two questions um, before we go. So Aya, so, you want to start? Yes, siguro ano. Uh, well, Aaron can, Aaron just really naturally, um, he's a nurturer, he's a carer. So, uh, when he has time. But of course, things have changed now, no? Kasi, um, Aside from, you know, we, we, we lost our jobs. <laughs> I mean, pre-pandemic yeah. ano, jobs. Well, Aaron is a photographer and you, yes. you're in yeah, music. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so we run, we, we, had, we had our pandemic business. We put up our Moss Pool business. So, oh, can you share uh, the IG? Oh, yes. Uh, it's Moss Pool's PH. So, yeah. eh, or Plant Buds PH. So, yes. Moss Pool's PH is a product of Plant Buds PH. So we thought, we, so therefore, those things are yeah. best. <laughs> and um, yeah, so uh, it's been, it's been, I know, for us, uh, a revamp of our, of our uh, sharing, par- you know, uh, our, our, our you shared tasks, parents. Uh, your, yeah. your tasks. So, but still, I, I really have to give it to Aaron that, you know, even, even if he has an extra load on, you know, on his, on his shoulders, he still manages to really, to really be, be present with, with the kids. Like he can yeah. still, you know, when he comes back here, you know, from, from making, you know, like, uh, uh, he he still takes care of Moxie or Silo. He gets one, and you know, so because he recognizes the importance of being present, his presence in, yeah. in their lives. So uh, I'm I'm grateful, and I really admire that person, the person that he is. He's, he's yeah, Aaron, we love you, Aaron. He's such a carer. The the word carer is really uh, the thing for you. Yeah, that's natural. Yes. <laughs> so for other daddies, I'd say. Don't be afraid to be a nurturer and carer. I think in our culture, because sometimes, um, diba, they see dads are supposed to be tough and strong. Although it's changed a lot, though, diba, with the daddies now. So yes. I think just keep at that. Yeah. Care. Okay. So, what's your advice or tip for other those who are just starting their parenting journey, expecting yes, children? During this, during this time, um, you know, yeah. we've. I'm I'm pretty sure we've had a rehearsal already about you know with our protocols safety protocols so just yeah. trust that trust your doctor uh, trust uh, trust that the doctors now would know way 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 better than um, th- than our fears <laughs> then uh, yeah. so 
if we follow uh, safety protocols and if we follow, I think uh, I think everything will, will go well. And stress is not a, a good contributor to at, at this mm-hmm. time. So uh, yeah, just um, just just practice safety protocols. Pray and nap before the newborn comes as much sleep <laughs> as you can. Yes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> How about you, princess? Um, advice to those who are pregnant now or planning to have kids. Yes. Yeah, just you know, parang yun nga eh, one year naman na, so like giving birth is back to normal, so we don't have to be scared right. of that at all. Yeah. And they're safe in the hospitals. Another uh, another piece of advice is you know don't don't be shy or don't be scared to ask for help. From your husband, number one, from your parents or in-laws, from your friends who have been through the same thing as well. Ask for help and enjoy your time with your baby because yun nga, they grow up really fast. And trust yourself. Don't you know, doubt yourself. To sabi, sabi ko daw, dinodoubt ko nga sarili ko. But you know, doubt, don't doubt your, your instincts. And it's not easy, but I, it's not easy, but you can do it. Yun. And yeah. then my husband, I am so thankful for him because he's so sipag at this time. Parang syempre, we have three kids na and we have to save for our future because it's very uncertain. Diba? So he takes whatever work he can that he can. He's so sipag and he's so careful. And I am so thankful because when he gets home, even if he's super duper 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 tired, he makes it a point to play with the boys because, you know, their energy is <laughs> Shout na, out ano to Doc Bistec. Thank you for yes, all yes. you do. <laughs> yes, thank you for all you do for, yeah. for us, for me and the kids. And he also makes sure to, you know, um, spend time with me as well. Sometimes he would just go out and just be in the car just so we can talk, uh. diba? So, so yun din. Another advice also for those who are planning to have kids, don't forget to, of course, nurture your marriage as well because, um, your husband is your teammate so you cannot do this by yourself so you have to be for you have to be there for each other as well and whatever fears i have i voice it out to him um he keeps me at peace so even if he's um really busy and you know he calms me so that's why i'm so and that's how he helps me okay so he's not as hands on as um other or as other dads like uh, Aaron because he's busy nga ganyan. Pero that's what he does and that's our that's our parent team. So yeah, yun, yun lang. That's nice. That's amazing. Okay, amazing. yung car. Yeah. Oh, dun lang. Talagang, yun. oh, oh, oh yung car. Kasi, kasi it's hard to have a conversation with Super, him, oh with the kids goodness. here. Talaga kinaya. Yes. Talaga. Talaga kinaya yun. So, I feel I love it that you just... not like the, like for husbands to just listen. Because it's not natural, di ba? For, like we like to talk forever. Like forever, talk, 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 talk. Mm-hmm. Tapos sila, when they get home, they just want to rest and unplug. So, I think the mere fact that they listen That's is a big true. thing. Yeah. I, another instinct kasi of our husbands or and men in general is when women rant, they tend to like want to solve the problem, <laughs> right? Yes. But si Bistek, he's learned that when I rant to him, I tell him na, okay, I don't want you to solve anything. I don't want you to do anything. Yes. I just want you to listen. listen. I'm gonna be fine. I just need someone to listen to me. And natutunan na niya yun, So I'm so thankful. The quiet na, land, parang, Oo, na parang, okay. And then he reacts lang. He reacts na parang talaga, oh. ganyan. So, ang galeng. I love yes, yes. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, That's yeah. a good tip. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we don't Can need solutions. Know. We just need them to listen. Yeah. And then when we need solutions, we'll ask. Diba? We'll ask. What yes, do you, that is true. How do you think? Uh-huh. What should we do? Ganyan. Because it's natural to them eh, to, to, to find solutions for you because yeah. they're our knight in shining armor. Parang yes. ganyan. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. And okay, so we run out of time. Not that we have a time limit, <laughs> but I didn't want to keep you too long. I know you have busy mommy lives. Um, I wanted to thank you for spending time with us today and sharing your very important words of wisdom and experiences with our fellow mommies. Um, we always learn a lot from you and always like hearing your updates about your, your kids and your family life. 
and your mom as uh, your mom lives too right so when i met you you're just new moms and then now expert moms na whatever that means expert that moms means. forever no parang never tayo expert yeah. <laughs> but um it's been a pleasure having you guys here at you the mom So thank you everyone for joining me at You the Mom and thank you for all who listened to us today. Just remember that mom life is something to be celebrated and cherished and we believe that moms should be celebrated and cherished as well. So from us to you, we say You the you Mom. The mom.